Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Cameron, I'm the training manager over here at Diode LED, and today we're gonna to be understanding key specifications. So, what will you learn today? Which CCT is best for which application? Key specs to know and understand? A closer look at IP ratings and a new way to evaluate CRI through the TM30 method. Before we get into it, things to keep in mind. CCT can play a big part in the overall mood and setting of a space. Lumens is a much more accurate measurement of the light output than wattage is. And then also, CRI does not tell the whole story. What is CCT? We're going to talk about three different aspects of CCT. What actually is color correlated temperature, color temperature per application, and then also color temperature differences. Let's get into color temperature. This is by far the most important specification we'll learn today. So what is CCT? CCT will tell you what hue and tone of white to expect. It's also measured in a degrees of Kelvin temperature. So for example, different varying levels of warmth in the light will tell you what type of Kelvin temperature there is. So for example, ultra warm would be 2500 Kelvin. Warm white would be more like 3000 Kelvin. Natural white would be 4000 Kelvin. And then when you get up to those high cool blue light, that would be 6000 Kelvins. So now that we know the basic Kelvin temperatures, let's talk about color temperature per application. Depends on personal preference, but however, what type of environment are you trying to create? What kind of colors are you trying to highlight? For example, more in residential applications, you'll see 2000 to about 3000 Kelvin temperature. But in living spaces within these residential applications, you'll see anywhere from 3000 up to 4000 Kelvin like commercial and industrial applications, you'll almost always primarily see something higher than 5,000 Kelvin on the job. But again, like we said earlier, this is personal preference. Just depends on what your clients and customers want. So let's talk about color temperature differences. Two lights can have the same CCT, but look different. This is something to keep in mind when specifying different lights for different projects. Key specifications. So one of the most important is lumens per foot the brightness of an LED measured per foot. Remember though, your customers might be thinking watts per foot when they mean lumens per foot. Watts per foot is the measure of electrical power. Nowadays though, we always use lumens per foot when trying to display the measure of brightness within a fixture. So CRI, this is another way to measure general light quality or what we call the color rendering index. Another key specification is cut points. These are the locations to cut your tape light to size. Usually you'll see a little tiny scissor mark running along the tape light, maybe every one inch to two inch to four inches. Maximum run. These are length limits when installing LED tape light. For example, a 12 volt system might have a 50 foot max run versus a 24 volt system might have a 65 foot max run. What is an IP rating and why is it important for LED lighting? An IP rating is an international standard that is a classification of degrees of protection from dust and liquid. We're all familiar with lighting fixtures being rated at either IP65 or IP68, but what do those ratings mean? IP stands for ingress protection. The first number deals with the varying degrees of protection from dust and the second number is from liquid. All wet located lighting systems will usually have a six for their first letter and at least a five for their second number, hence IP65. All submersible systems will have a rating of IP68 or higher. TM30, a new and very exciting method for evaluating light source color rendition or CRI. CRI simply gives you a rating from zero to 100 for the entire color spectrum, but this does not tell you the whole story. Your tape light might be 90 CRI, but the red is only 40% of true red. The TM30 method actually gives you a true rating on individual colors such as red, green, and blue. Red is by far though the most important color, so making sure your tape light has a high R value, 70 or higher, is very important. Remember the TM30 method the next time you're specifying tape light. Now that you understand key specifications, let's keep in mind some of the things we learned. Make sure you understand your customer's CCT preferences. Also, remember all those key specifications we've learned, lumens per foot, cut points, max runs, and then also that 
we need to take a closer look at CRI using the TM30 method. CRI does not tell the whole story. Thanks again for learning about understanding key specifications. My name is Cameron, training manager over here at Diode LED, and until next time.